size blonde. I'm going to make some things for you that are bite size, and well, I'm blonde. I'm going to make for you two recipes. The first is a cocktail, and the second is an appetizer. The thing that starts the gathering is the cocktail, and that's what we're going to start our show with tonight. I'm going to make for you a rum spritzer. We're going to start with some ice. And then I like to use a dark rum. Adds good flavor. And this rum is actually made in Texas. You can use a shot glass and you can use one ounce. I don't really use a shot glass. I kind of just measure. I count one, two, three. Any kind of sparkling water. I like to use Perrier. I like to use about equal proportions. Then any kind of citrus. You can buy lime juice right from the store in a container or you can squeeze it yourself. I wash my hands already, but I squeeze it into my hand, that way if there's any seeds, they don't go into the drink. Then you add straw. Perfect. Now for the food. We're gonna be making some mushroom pinwheels. So for our pinwheels, we need some croissants, some mushrooms, an onion, cream cheese, an egg. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And you're going to chop it really thin so that you don't have big chunks of onion in the well. So we put the onions into the saute pan. Okay, so I've got my onion sauteing. I'm going to grab my garlic salt. And while I'm over the spices, I'm going to grab some my sesame seeds. So I'm going to use those in a few minutes. I'm going to use just a little dash, or maybe four dashes, of garlic salt. And then I'm going to get to chopping my mushrooms. Now, the mushrooms for pinwheels are different. You can use canned mushrooms, in which case you'll need two small cans. And it has the mushrooms and the stems, and that works fine. So I have fresh portobellos. They're washed baby bellas, which are delicious. They're already washed, so I don't have to wash them. If I can just get into this bag, I think this is block proof. All right, so I'm gonna chop these up into really small pieces. And you always have to start the onions before you add the mushrooms in because onions take longer and the mushrooms take only a few minutes. And I'm going to take the mushrooms and onions. They're really hot and I'm going to mix them with cream cheese. So I want them to cool down a little bit. So I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 15 minutes. You know what? I'm going to worry. I've got a party tonight. I'm going to put them in the freezer for five minutes. Okay. It's been five minutes. Now. I'm going to add 8 ounces, or this is 12 ounces, I'm going to add 12 ounces. And it's difficult, that's why I took the cream cheese, oops, I took the cream cheese out of the fridge a little bit early so that it could soften up. Alright, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my cutting board. So you're going to unfold it. I'm going to, I'm going to pinch together all of the seams. It's all just one piece now. Okay. And then I'm going to add some of my topping. So I'm going to put it in some saran wrap or some tin foil, and then I'm going to put it in the freezer. And if you're kind of in a rush, if you've got people coming over, you don't need to freeze it. But it just makes it easier to cut. So that's why I'm going to do it. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to do the rest of this can, and then I'm going to do one more can, kind of use up all this, and then I'll get back to you. Just a couple minutes. 
You don't always need to do this. It just it makes it easier to cut. You cut them in about a quarter of an inch. Always use a sharp knife. Okay. And then I have a pan that's already set with tin foil. It's already been buttered. You can use spray oil. You can use whatever you want. But you need to grease the pan. And you put them in. And when you put them in, I kind of squish them down a little bit. So they're a little round pinwheels. Last thing I do is I make a little egg wash. Crack an egg. Add a little bit of purified water. And you whisk it. And you just dust them. Okay. Last thing you do You just sprinkle some sesame seeds on them. They're ready to go in the oven. Uh, woo! Hot. Oh, look at how good they look. You just get a plate. And because you grease the pan, they're going to be really easy to get off. Let's try one. They're going to be really hot. They're good. Mmm. Okay. So, I'm the bite-sized blonde, and these are mushroom pinwheels, and this is a blonde spritzer. And... We're delicious.